A name is very important. <coughs> Among the Yoruba people, a name is never just really, really so much given, just given, given. There's so many circumstances, especially when a child is born into this world. There's so many circumstances that um, evolve into a child's name. What went on today? Today uh, was my birthing ceremony, essentially. Okay. Uh, we'll call it a rebirthing ceremony. Yeah. What I was read, my my birthright, and what's supposed to go on throughout my life. And obviously, me being 33 years on this earth, I've experienced a number of different things. The chief priest talked to me about a lot of what I experienced without knowing me. Never met me before, never seen me before, day in his life. Yoruba children receive a grand naming ceremony between seven to nine days after birth. At Oyotunji, the process begins with the Babalawo, who selects the name from the Ifa Oracle. Today, many African Americans who wish to return to the culture of their ancestor, they do so by making the pilgrimage to Oyotunji Kingdom uh, and undergo a naming ceremony. your birthright to have at least an African name just like a Jewish boy has a Jewish name mm -hmm. and his father is going to see it to it hella high water that he has a bar mitzvah mm -hmm. and she's a girl she has a bat mitzvah mm -hmm. you see they're gonna make sure uh, uh, that these customs are, are maintained so what I'm doing now is preparing some condiments for the naming ceremony coconut is one of the condiments that we give to all of the witnesses who are witnessing the ceremony uh there are other condiments honey cayenne pepper salt uh water all of those things are life elements and they represent different things and you will find out more about that at the ceremony <laughs> okay important custom of an African, of course, is your name. The condiments of life in Yoruba culture. This is honey. Everybody knows honey is made by beans. Honey, oyin. Oyin is the sweetness of life. Let our dear uh, 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 gentlemen here enjoy the sweetness of life. Ashe! Ashe! And not stain our white clothes, okay? Yeah. So palm oil represents the smooth time. Omi tutu, omi tutu fu akbara, omi tutu fu dedao, omi kolota, omi become a part of the community, you become a part of Oyotunji in so many ways to help it grow whatever, to into whatever it will be in the future, right? We ask OT is strength. Agbada. We ask that the strength of OT help to prosper our lives and not destroy it. I share. Yeah. 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 I share. And by eating a piece of this coconut, you cannot say that this is, did not happen. Now you have witnesses. I share. Meaning that this is what we have before us today. From this day forward, your name will be known as Emiola. 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 Loose translation to Emiola. You have a, a spirit that is very rich. Emiola. Emiola. Your last name. Olu Ole. Olu Wale. Olu Wale. Olu Wale. Olu Wale. Olu is God or the, the, the Most High. 
God has entered the house. God has entered. about the naming ceremony gives the person an opportunity to express their African culture okay. in a way that they can name themselves as opposed to what the slavers gave them. It yes. brings them back to the African way of life. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would say if I could take this thing off. Uh, yeah. We will say that um, normally when we have people come to our Tunji, we have to remind everybody, you become a part of the community. You become part and parcel of the daily necessities, <laughs> as they say. Which is to contribute to the growth of your people, to contribute to the growth of your people. It sounds romantic, however, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Because now you're dealing with a group of African descendants who are disconnected from their intrinsic culture. And when that happens, things can run them up. Okay, so we always look to remind you that you... At the time, Kabisi will retire for the night. Tumba Sile! and join us become a part of the community and the african culture so that you can have success in life that's it that's what my perspective well thank you hey, I, will I will see you later all right it was it was to me it was a blessing hmm. at, at, for witnessing what i witnessed hmm. and uh this is my second time here at on Chichu, so Every time I come, I, I feel like I'm getting more better uh, with my spiritual well-being. I say, I say. Uh, and as far as the veneration, I got an opportunity to meet the king, royal majesty, uh, and connect with my people, right? So from an experience standpoint, I would say initially there was nerves not necessarily a, an a nervousness of negativity but yeah. an anxious nervousness like i'm here because i'm supposed to be here but i've never been here so i don't know what to expect right um but i can tell you prior to this the pool has been on me That's um, so one of the things the chief said to me in our reading well in his reading excuse me was yes. that your ancestors are leading you they guided you here for a reason and even when I got blessed, all the items fell in a straight line saying you're on your correct path. Just keep doing what you're doing, follow your ancestors, and you will be blessed. They will guide you and protect you, and they're going to give you a lot of blessings to 
elevate to the next level. So, hey, Shay, uh, you know, from your perspective, what was that like in having your woman here to, to not only give you this event for yourself, mm -hmm. uh, but to show her more support from your perspective? Can I speak freely? Yes. Whatever. Yes. Absolutely fucking amazing. That's it. Right? Ashe. Absolutely fucking amazing. Ashe. So, first and foremost, um, I am not an insecure person. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, I'm quick to say, hey, I'm out if I feel like the vibe is off and the energy. But this woman preluding that. Okay. I didn't come here on my own merit, right? I right. was brought here. My birthday is next Wednesday. My okay. baby created this environment and this opportunity to say, I'm going to take you somewhere that I know you're going to love without you knowing. So this was a surprise to me. Mm. But here I am, and you can see the energy coming off, and you can feel it, hopefully. I say, uh, I say. In the end, this woman who knows me, we've yeah. only known each other for six, seven, eight months, maybe. Yeah. Uh, but this woman who knows me to the point to know this guy of mine is going to love this to be blessed and to be brought back to his culture to be taken to the home the motherland without physically being taken to the motherland I said. like she transcended me so to have her here i can't put it into words but the only three words is absolutely fucking amazing that's my backbone that's the the bonnie to my Clyde. Uh, that's my love and i don't care if we fight argue disagree whatever whatever we're gonna go through it all together and it'll be me and her against the world if it have to come to this. So, that's love it. That lady. That's it, man.